This is going to be our secret. I'm going to let you in on how you too can spy on your competitors on LinkedIn. You're not going to need some fancy disguise. All you're going to need is a LinkedIn company page, and I'm going to show you how to do the rest. I'm Michelle J. Raymond's Good Trading co-founder, and I'm here to teach you how you too can spy on your competitors. Why would you want to is the first question. Well, it's always good to keep an eye on where things are up to with your competitors. Are you falling behind? Are they lifting their game? Where are things up to? And this is why when I work with my clients, we always want to have some kind of form of analytics and tracking in place. It feels good when you're actually winning that race as well. So there's lots of different reasons. Do you need a third party software? No, you don't. We can do everything we need to in LinkedIn. I'm going to show you a couple of quick and easy ways that we can do this just by using the free tools, which is even better. How do we do it? We're going to go into page admin view on our company page. When we jump into there, we are then going to have a bit of a deep dive. Now, as I said, LinkedIn makes this really easy for you. All you are going to do first up, you are going to go onto the analytics tab and drop down to competitors. I'm going to use that term fairly loosely because some of the competitors that I like to follow, I'm going to call them more so my friends or people that inspire me. They could be from completely different industries or they can be from within your industry. Shout out to Social Media Examiner, John Asperian's Asperian Co, Linnea Johnston's Linkability. They're some of the pages that are currently set up in my page that I can then, you know, play around and edit. LinkedIn will give you a list straight up. If you don't like it, we can click on edit competitors and search pages by name. We're going to shout out to another friend, Brenda Mellor and her page, Mellor Marketing. You should go and follow that if you're not already. And I'm going to add that in. All I do is click save. And that's going to take me back to this screen. Now you can see that Brenda Miller has been added in here. You could have nine in total. Now on the flip side of this social media examiner, they're not really in the same league as I am. They don't do the same thing as I am. It's not really adding any value to me. Same thing, go into edit competitors, and then you can come down here and just hit the delete key and then click save. Once I'm happy with my list, you can get a good idea for where you want to sit. We're going to have a look at the total number of followers. We can also see the new followers. Who's growing faster? In this particular list with the three competitors plus myself, you can see that Brenda's sitting up there at the top with 155. Because I know what's going on in uh, LinkedIn land, I know that she's one of the few accounts that currently gets 250 invite credits. So that makes sense to me. I could then have a look and go, you know what, John Asperian, he doesn't really rate company pages. He has his, he keeps it ticking over, but it's not a key focus. And of course, Lanair Johnston, co-author of Business Gold with me, she's always putting good content out on the linkability page. It gives me a way that I can keep an eye on things and see if anyone's stepping up their engagement, see if I'm falling behind. The other thing that it shows you is the total engagements and the total number of posts. When I come back here and have a look, then you can actually see how many engagements. This is something that's really high on my page. Uh, you can see I've done 28 posts. And then you can see where the other numbers fall in for the other pages. That's one of the ways that you can go in and have a look. It really is that simple and that easy to go and keep an eye on competitors. Now, again, don't waste too much time here. Their goals, their business, their mission, their resources, how long they've been in the game, their personal connections. There's just so many variables on this. I'm not really a big analytics fan, but it is kind of cool sometimes to just go in and check how I'm going against things. What other ways can we do this? Pull up any company page that you want to have a look at. We're going to drop down onto Netflix because that's one of the cool pages. I always use that as a good example. Jump onto the post tab and slide across onto the ads. If you are against a competitor that's running ads right now, you can see what they're trialing. Now I don't go into ads. That's not my space. If you want an expert in that field, AJ Wilcox is my recommendation, but that is going to give you another way that you can see, or are they heavily spending on ads at the moment on LinkedIn or are they not? As you can see, there are several different ways that you can keep an eye on your competitors within LinkedIn. They make it really easy. I would say spend more time focusing on you, focusing on your goals, your business, 
your community and your conversations. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to hit subscribe and get notified of the next videos that are coming up. I'm doing a full how to series, which I know everybody will find useful. Hit subscribe, keep up to date with everything that's happening at Good Trading Co. and in the world of LinkedIn company pages. Cheers.